Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living that's aren't worth having. We make quick, instant observations of people in a matter of seconds. Literally, we know in marketing that it's under four seconds that people make an establishment in their mind of whether or not someone is the right person to speak with or to engage with or to interact with. Nine times out of the ten, we are probably accurate in our assessment. There's always a good percentage, though, that we've made a mistake. It is sort of God's pleasure to teach people lessons. But God does not teach people lessons with other people's ideas in them. God does not teach people to harm people. God does not teach people to take their advantages of people while they're sleeping. God does not teach you that you have the right to put your hands on someone's chest and tweak something. God does not teach you that you have the right to put your hands in someone's chest pocket while they're sleeping if they're stuck outside because of the identity theft that prevents them from having a home and harm them. God does not teach you that you have a right of any kind to any man's body in any way. God does not teach you that you have the right to harm a woman at any day. God does not teach you that you have rights to involve yourself, involve your family, involve your friends, involve your neighbors in a total stranger's life. God does not teach you that you have the right to use your medical prowess to assess someone from a distance and make a record without ever consenting the person. God did not teach you to lie. You chose to lie in all these situations. You chose to play God in someone's life. You chose to harm someone. You chose to lie on someone. You chose to write a document that's not your right to write. You chose to do these things in your version of what you think is right in the world. But again, who are you to think what is and isn't right? What we do have in America, however, are laws. And laws govern us all. Laws are not something that we bend too often that when there's serious repercussions. Serious repercussions are being called a molester. Serious repercussions are being called, being called a rapist. Serious repercussions are being called a child abuser. And serious repercussions are being called what you do here. What you do in life that other people see that you do make them cautious of you. What you say in life to people about their life also makes them cautious about you. When a man gives a true evaluation to a preacher or a teacher or a politician or a creature of marketing or simply a business person, it is his industry, it is his history, it is his experience that plants it there. You don't have to agree with the opinion, but if your opinion is not getting you jobs, if your position is not getting you business, if your withstanding, upstanding citizenship is not earning you a job, then maybe, just motherfucking maybe, have you been misleading yourself at all.